I know you think I like fancy foods and I'm guilty as charged, but sometimes you really do need to spend more money in order to get a quality product. So let me share some examples with you. First off, Parmigiano Reggiano. Now, other cheeses labeled Parmesan have two main differences. One, Parmigiano Reggiano uses raw, unpasteurized milk. And when they pasteurize the milk, which is how Parmesan is made elsewhere, basically you get rid of all the flavor of the milk. It's terrible. The other thing is they're not aged nearly long enough. You can actually see the aging in this cheese. There are all of these crystals here that are indicating that it's aged at least 12 months. Honestly, I look for the 24 month, although 12 month is totally fine for aging. Second cheese here, another Italian favorite, Pecorino Romano. Now, a lot of Romano cheeses, pretty much all of them actually, are made with cow's milk. The real deal is made with sheep's milk. Pecora is the word for sheep in Italian. It really must be made with sheep's milk in order to have the real gamey, piquant flavor. When it comes to orange juice, fresh squeezed is always the best, but honestly, I'm never gonna do that at seven in the morning. The problem is most supermarket orange juices don't have much flavor. That is until we did a tasting and we discovered Natalie's. It tastes like fresh squeezed orange juice and that's because it's squeezed and shipped pretty much immediately. A lot of the supermarket juices, they squeeze the juice and hold it in tanks for months or years and then add all kinds of tricks to make it taste somewhat like fresh juice. Why not just start with something that's actually fresh? And more importantly, it is pasteurized at lower temperatures for less time. So it's got more fresh flavor. Yes, it will not last as long in the supermarket. So it's got a shelf life of weeks rather than months, but it's so delicious, it's not going to last that long in your fridge. In tastings of their lemonade and grapefruit juice, they won both of those tastings for the same reason. It just tastes like fresh squeezed juice. Next up, let's talk about syrup. And honestly, I'm not gonna talk about pancake syrup because it's not worth eating. I mean maple syrup, the real deal. It is much more expensive, but it's much more delicious. Now I will tell you any maple syrup, you can buy the cheapest one you can find. They all are delicious. Probably the most important thing is to look for either the words dark or very dark on the label. I think those have the most flavor as opposed to golden or amber. Finally, some good news for those of you who want to save some pennies, and actually it's more like dollars, totally fine by imitation vanilla extract. No one, including the people here in the test kitchen, is gonna be able to tell the difference in a cookie or a cake if you use imitation extract. And all of the dollars that you save on buying cheaper extract, you can spend on better syrup, better juice, and better cheese. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>